Hi and welcome to Nick Strings. So I was looking for Indian Railways BAP7 model as uh, I keyed in. These are the search options that come in. Clicking on to the search bar. Quite a handful of options, not many commercial producers. So as I was searching through this, I found the Pink Engine website. So this is a non-motorized model at around 10,000 rupees, 10,500. That is excluding GST. Uh, it's at this price. Uh, detail seems to be just about okay. Next is PWM. Again, it's non-motorized display model. is around 8,700. Nice detail. And the motorized versions are around 20,000. Uh, I continued my search because these are nice models but really uh, not something that's going to fit my long term budget. Finally, my eyes fell on this particular model. Let's click on this. Then I ran into this C Realities products. Uh, one listed in the Amazon and other listed in their own website. Just opening their own website. So nice listing of uh, some of the Indian Railway model locos. Uh, let's go to the main shop and see the listing. So they have VAP 7 at 2300 and around 1900 the diesel dual cab locomotives. Quite nicely detailed for the price. So I chose the VAP 7 and ordered it. It arrived in, in a span of uh, two to three days. Let's click the web 7 which I ordered. So nicely, de nicely detailed and that's what drew my attention. For uh, It's a display model of course and there are options for the wheels as well. Then there are coach coaches which it's out of stock now the ICF coach so nice models and really at affordable prices now let's have a unboxing of this web 7 which arrived so as you can see this uh, has arrived in this condition uh, it's excellently packaged for courier I must appreciate the C realities here they have well packed the product just take it off the camera there is inside there is a plastic box and foam the model is in the foam I just take it off and the lid is nicely secured with number of long tapes just take it off camera so let's quickly unbox it there goes some extra wheels there extra metal wheels I'll just take them off nice weight to these wheels nice quality excellent quality and there is the web 7 local with its tracks very nice model for its price one is the raised position and the other is lowered pantograph I will slowly try to I'm not sure how it's going to come off okay uh, just gently do it now I can't stop complimenting about the uh, way this is packed so there's the outer courier packing that is of cardboard and the inner box is uh, it's a plastic box with nice foam 
and to protect the pantographs you have this additional uh, stand like structure really beautifully packed so let's move on to the locomotive and its track so here is the loco and its tracks uh, nice p7 on the side of the locomotive really details are exquisite nice window grills fine detail there uh, quite okay the handrails are um, the flag is on the other side and web 7 the good thing about it is no road number is given so you can actually customize the uh, the locomotive as per your desire probably i won't be going for the gaziabad shed so i might get rid of uh, this p7 and i i will decide on in the coming videos and assign it a shed of uh, and customize it uh, really nice detail nice steel metal buffers stainless steel buffers and nice flasher horn and the pentographs are excellent details uh, the overhead details are excellent uh, and the brake registers the vents and ventilations side ventilations really nicely done the compressor the transformer and the battery box really nicely picked up I'm going to keep this uh, uh, livery of the compressor which is quite rare I won't be repainting it uh, just the like like the way it, it is made and so the raised nice spring detailing on the pentograph nice rivets and fasteners along the roof surface of the roof so the other side is again identical no running number again in the sides or in the uh, ends of the locomotive that will allow customizing much easier now these uh, stickers are not very impressive I will be uh, working with it once again well, that's really nice thing uh, because it uh, this type of locomotive allows you to customize as per your requirement and I like to uh, after the model has been made I like to give it uh, a, I like to work on the models and give it the touch uh, that is there uh, so I like to improvise the models hand add handmade parts and so on which is part of this uh, of this hobby and I like I enjoy doing so so that's what I will be doing in the coming videos stay tuned uh, let's see the bottom structure of the of this locomotive so nice metal wheels cutters are fastened by these screws and bogies are free to rotate so this is a non motorized locomotive uh, and nice weight to it as well so it's quite stable but I'll be adding some more weight according to the uh, so that it doesn't shake too much but otherwise it's nicely it rolls nicely along the tracks so stay tuned in the next coming video I'll be assigning a running number and the shed is expected to be changed the other side is quite nice again uh, so this is the uh, detail on the next other side so the letterings in Hindi no road number again but again the details are quite nicely picked up and for the price this really is a fantastic model and every every rupee every paise is uh, really uh, worth it for what it is and of course there are a handful of uh, imperfections to this model but price just justifies it and if you are one of those who like to improvise the models once it comes to your hands uh, you are free to do so and it's not a very high costing model so I highly recommend the C Realities WAP 7 uh, locomotive in the collections really nice for especially for those who are looking medium costing models rather than you know uh, 10,000 for a free rolling or 8,000 for a free rolling display model 
so this is far uh, more economical option and it's really nicely built nicely detailed locomotives locomotive that is there uh, yes there are some imperfections but still a nice option that uh, one who is having passion for model trains uh, must consider that's it for now stay tuned for the next video i'll be giving it the road number and the shed shed uh, assigning the shed for this locomotive thanks for watching don't forget to share and subscribe next trains